Hello. If you don't know me, my name's Rob and I'm the Rector of Portishead. It's lovely to have you with us. Whenever I uh, am due to preach uh, or to give a talk like this, I, I look at the reading or the readings that are set uh, for the day in what we call the lectionary, the list uh, of readings and, uh, and, and, and days of the year. And, uh, and sometimes I look at that reading and I get really excited. I think, oh, it's fantastic. I love this reading. I can immediately think of things that I might say about it. Um, but there are other times when I look at the reading and my heart sinks. And I think, oh, this is really difficult. And my temptation is to look for something else, to look for a different reading. One that, uh, that, 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 that fits with, with what I think I might want to talk about a little more easily. But when I catch myself doing that, uh, I, I realise that that's not helpful. Because uh, I believe that God speaks through all of Scripture. And to choose the bits of Scripture that I want to talk about uh, is, uh, is to leave uh, the Bible rather emaciated. But, um, but also it's, it's, it's saying, actually, I think the Christian faith is, uh, is, is about the things I want it to be about. Uh, and so often that's about being nice or being respectable. But when we read scripture, when we look at Jesus uh, and we look at, at the wider context of scripture, uh, as challenging as it is, sometimes uh, we're reminded that that's uh, not the only thing. As, as good as being nice and being respectable are, sometimes God's, God wants to say something else to us. Uh, and uh, And that's there in this reading this morning that it, it's not uh, a reading about niceness or respectability it's uh, it's a reading that comes with some challenge and some talk of judgment uh, it's from Luke chapter 12 uh, and reading from verse 49 Jesus said I came to bring fire to the earth and how I wish it were already kindled I have a baptism with which to be baptised, and what stress I am under until it is completed. Do you think that I have come to bring peace to the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, five in one household will be divided. Three against two and two against three. They will be divided, father against son and son against father. Mother against daughter and daughter against mother, mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. Some things to say uh, about this passage, and, and first of all is reference to that word baptism. Jesus said, there is a baptism with which I must be baptised. And uh, one of the joys of my ministry here in Portishead has been just 10 days ago when uh, we had a baptism out uh, in uh, in Sugarloaf Bay, uh, out in the estuary, and uh, Dan Matson was baptised. And you can see uh, a video of that on the, on the website, uh, on the Facebook page. Uh, it was lovely to be able to, to do that. Um, and there's a point in uh, a baptism service when you're baptising an adult by total immersion, which you don't get when you baptise a baby in a font, as much as I love doing that. Uh, there's a point in that service when uh, you're out in the water, Dan and I waded out, uh, I put my hand on his head and I uh, said in the name of the, I baptise you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and I pushed him underwater. The word baptism actually literally means in Greek submerge and so if uh, a ship is uh, is sailing in the sea and, and, it, and it sinks then that's the word that is used to describe that but it's also used metaphorically to talk about being overwhelmed by something uh, or controlled by something so you might be uh, overwhelmed by alcohol uh, or you might be overwhelmed by some great uh, tragedy uh, that is uh, that is 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 happening to you and so when Jesus spoke about being baptised here, what he's talking about is his death, the tragedy, the overwhelming thing that is, he's looking forward to. Uh, and he talks about being stressed about it. Uh, and, uh, and 
it's a reminder that that tragedy of Jesus's death is at the heart of the Christian faith. Uh, and that's something that we're being reminded of in baptism, in that submerging uh, of, uh, of, of the candidate. And um, actually, there is a lot of pain at the heart of the Christian faith when we look at Jesus's experience uh, of, uh, of death, particularly. Um, you know, Jesus was, was crucified because he said challenging things. Uh, and people took violent exception to what he said, to the extent that they wanted to kill him. Jesus wasn't about being nice or being respectable. But of course, I didn't leave down underwater. You'll be relieved to know uh, that having submerged him, he then comes up as a reminder to us that there's resurrection. There is resurrection. But, but we mustn't get there too quickly to forget that before resurrection is death and that there is challenge there. And Jesus talks about uh, fire and about peace. He says, I did not come to bring peace to the earth. Uh, and um, we think, but he did. But he also talks here about fire. And, and sometimes Christians need to remember that actually we need to be involved in uh, in protest, uh, in, in, in saying when things are wrong. We can't be so concerned with peace that we don't stand up and say when things are not right. Of course, we need to be concerned about how we protest, but we need to be willing to protest. Whether that's about the human action leading to climate change, whether that's about the treatment uh, of refugees, whether that's about the status of, of women or people of colour in our own society. We need to be prepared to stand up and say this is wrong and to ruffle a few feathers, feathers within the church, feathers beyond the church in saying that, uh, in, in reminding people that, uh, that, that being a Christian is not about uh, just about the state of my soul. It is about saying we want to see things right in wider society and right in justice. And then Jesus talks about division within the family. Uh, it's interesting to think about this, isn't it, when many of us have spent a lot more time with our families in uh, recent uh, weeks and months than we might normally do. But Jesus talks about divisions that take place. And the reality is that Jesus makes demands upon our lives. And particularly where we share a, a home with others who are not followers of Jesus, there will be times when that uh, that challenge is is very real and there's tension. It might be over how we spend, spend our money, it might be how we spend our time, it might be how we bring up our, our children, but there can be tension. But Jesus said, I, I did not come to bring peace. He's reminding us that, that actually that tension is right and proper, is, is, is expected, uh, and we need to not be surprised by it. Of course, you know, we need to look to respond to it uh, in a way that uh, would make Jesus smile and approve. But we need to not be surprised that sometimes there is challenge, uh, that, that at its heart, the Christian faith is about taking up our cross and following Jesus and going the way that he went. Let's do that with, uh, with courage uh, and, uh, and with kindness, uh, uh, but also a willingness to, to do the things that are difficult and challenging. Amen.